The Scotch Rhythm Plus has been a fantastic heart rate monitor for me. But now we have the Rhythm Plus 2. How's it stack up? So the reason you get a heart rate monitor like this is so that you can connect to just about any device you want and have your heart rate information sent over to that device. And Scotch prides themselves on having the rhythm work with just about anything. But does it really? Tonal. Check. Fit your mirror? Yup. Hydro rower? Pass. Peloton Bike Plus? Yup. Nordertrack S27i? Sure thing. Peloton Guide? Right there. And those are just the devices I tested. Each one was very easy to set up and started showing the heart rate information in real time very quickly. And that's because the Rhythm products just do what they're supposed to do. They work very well. And that was with the original Rhythm that I used for a very long time and still works great to this day. And now the Rhythm 2, just a more advanced option that is continuing that tray and continues to work very well with whatever product I throw at it. And the reason for this is that they have Amp Plus and Bluetooth connectivity. And these are the types of connectivity that most devices rely on. So this is why it has such good coverage. And it's gonna work with just about anything. So if you're looking for something that you can just throw on, use when you want to, and then take it back off to send your heart rate information to something, this is very much worth considering. So if the original rhythm was so great, what makes the second version even better? Well, to start, they improved their sensors, which means you're gonna get better accuracy. They also improved the band. And while I'll say the first one never was a concern for me, I can tell the second one's better. It's just a little more comfortable in the way it fits you and the way it secures itself to you. It just feels comfortable while you have some kind of strap tightly around your wrist. So that's a nice little improvement. It has better battery life, which is great, but I will say the first one, I barely ever had to charge that thing. It seemed to last forever, but more is always better and it's IP68 water and dust proof. So you're gonna be able to put it through those situations and have it handle it just fine. And it's also capable of receiving software updates. So if they notice an issue or an area for improvement or new features, they can push that to this. And actually right before I did this filming, I went and did an update real quick. It was flawless, very easy to do. And now I'm at the current version. So I will say that that is a very nice feature that you can do that and always keep this thing current. So a pretty short video today, and why is that? Well, that's because this thing just does what it's supposed to do. It has a very simple job and it does it very well. So if you find yourself saying, I have a device that I use, and it can accept the heart rate information and enhances the experience because it has that. There's more stats, there's more historical information, just ways it integrates into the device I'm using and make the experience better. And I want a device that will do that very easy. I can slap it on when I use it, take it off when I'm done. This is a great device to do just that. So it's worth considering. I'll throw some links in the description down below if you wanna check it out. I hope this helped you. If it did, hit that like button, subscribe, stay on top of everything where health and technology meet. And until next time, here's to a healthier you and have a good one.